All right, so let's get started. So, so we're just going through the 2010 overview now today. So we know what's, how it goes after this. Mm -hmm. So, so SharePoint. So before I actually, uh, you know, put it together, I want to know what you actually think of SharePoint and uh, what do you think it is doing in the market. Uh, with what uh, idea I have about SharePoint is like it's a it's a document management system, it's a content management system. Mm -hmm. um, basically, uh, it allows you to share uh, documents and then it it has features like say, uh, uh, meeting organizer and all this stuff and um, it, uh, it, it has nothing to do with uh, security of those documents and now uh, home to give access to and what not and now uh, Again, content manager system allows you to create, I'm sure there's some in-house websites or websites which are exposed to the outside world with ease. Right. So you got it pretty much there So from an end-user perspective and from an IT pro perspective. So so this is how, uh, you know, SharePoint evolved, you know, evolved it. So, so it has been, uh, it was there. Uh, since 2001, which was a pretty basic version of SharePoint. Uh -huh. And then it's just like a, on top of a .NET framework. You know, SharePoint is always on .NET framework. So without .NET, there is no SharePoint. Uh, okay. But people have a misconception that, you know, if you have to be a SharePoint pro, you need to know .NET. But I would say, no, need it. Because I train many guys who doesn't know any program basics. And I uh, trained in SharePoint directly. and yeah, they did uh, exercise uh, my assignments. Oh, okay. So right, so so it started with 2010, and they have created uh, you know so far 2003 and 2007, and uh, so they had, they kept adding the features on top of the actual 2001 version, and they called mm -hmm. it they called it the uh, Windows SharePoint Services uh, in 2003, which was actually a product I would call. If you compare mm -hmm. with 2001, it wasn't even prior, I mean, it wasn't even stable, and it, it didn't even grab the market. It's pretty much basic functionality that they gave it, you know, through, so you go to a website, so it's not like an .NET website. So .NET website, if you have to create, you have to go right, you have to create an IS website, you have to create all those folder structures, right. you have to display all your components, controls, you have to code to see even a single page, everything, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So whereas in Sharp SharePoint, you don't have to do that. It's all you know, one click away. So you just click on it, the site is right there. You just have to customize and, and then just add or configure. You don't have to code it in fact. So that's what uh -huh. SharePoint does it. The main objective of it is yeah, to minimize the code. But of course, we do code a lot in SharePoint. For various client, you know, client specs. Okay. So then, 2003 came in. Uh, that was pretty much stable. That got a good market, reasonable market. At least share. I mean, people know that there is a product from Microsoft to share doing some, you know, cool thing there. And then, mm -hmm. um, and then 2003. After then, 2007 came in, and it's again the same version, but they added a lot of integration features like search. I mean, it's not just only uh, a one click away site creation wizard mm -hmm. it's not only the, i mean so they don't they want the emphasis on more on the product than just saying it's just like a, a site creation wizard it's not that but it also does a lot of things so they emphasize on search capabilities you know findability mm -hmm. and all that features in 2007 okay. and of course you know every version of the product you kept adding, otherwise they can't uh, sell it for sure. Mm -hmm. So I just talked very specific to 2010 instead of you know talking in detail uh, into each version of SharePoint. You know the old versions. So we got uh, okay. 2010 versions in a, into two different licenses: foundation and server. Foundation was was free, so you can just grab it and install it if you have uh, the system. Uh, that is that is fit for the product, so you can just install it and play around with it, and you can even code or whatever do deploy your own custom components. But it, what 
what is missed in foundation, I mean what you will achieve or get it from server is uh, some of the enterprise features like uh, search and it, I wouldn't say just search, search has different features within it. That won't be there in foundation but will be there in server. Oh, okay. And pretty much uh, uh, we do have some kind of inside features, Excel services and there are performance point and all that. So they made it as a different license and uh, added into the enterprise server license. Mm -hmm. So what are the so the SharePoint features completely we can just put it into different categories. Uh, like mm -hmm. this particular wheel shows. You know, the features can be shown into the sites category, communities, content, search, insights, and composites. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about war. Let's talk about each category. So when we say sites, sites. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much SharePoint is famous for. Like, uh, so I want to set up a site. So I want you know my organization have a department. Uh, they want to set up a site. So what we're we gonna do in .NET is like you know like I ex already explained. We start it as a project itself like yes. okay we have to create an IS website set up all the permissions set up all those pools accounts and then whatnot database oh my god that was really hard I mean horrible that in the IAS mm -hmm. but in SharePoint it's when you set up the SharePoint it's already in there so it's already configured so you just have to go to the center lab and mm -hmm. now just say we don't choose the site template so there are already predefined site templates like project okay. team site publishing portal you, you just need to choose the template and then yeah name the site with your department name that's it the site is right there now it's ready okay. to have the content and use it that's it mm -hmm. and it's pretty much integrated with office uh, office product because you know it's again by Microsoft so they they integrate all those office uh, applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Visio, and all that. They are pretty much tightly integrated with the SharePoint. So you move here and there, you still have the data in metadata tagged and in mm -hmm. So that's the sites category. You know, it's much uh, about uh, you know, the wizard for site creation. Okay. With less development, I mean, with in fact, with no development. Mm -hmm. So, sites. So, when you set up a site, you use all the list libraries uh, where you can add the, you know. So, when I say list, list is something not like a document library, but just, you know, if you, if you compare the SQL table, I would say mm -hmm. list is pretty similar. So, like you have the tables, rows, columns. So list is pretty simple. You just add the entries and all those values in there, you know, and you define the column, which type of column it is, and all that. Okay. And whereas a document library, it's it's the it's the one that will hold all your documents. Like you were explaining the document management system, this is what what it is. It mm -hmm. it does uh, takes you know tons of uh, I wouldn't say ton. It got its limitations, but it takes all those documents, various types of documents, and then you have a versioning enabled on these libraries. So so basically, you know, you know, if if I just compare this with the legacy systems or the old fashioned way of doing things, like you know, the company sends an email with a, with a report basically from one department to other department saying this is what it is, what the report is for this quarter and uh, forward it to whoever, you know need it. Then they keep forwarding it and then someone replies to it saying this is not the correct one, I added some more data and then they reply that. So there are a lot of versions for this document and a lot of files created out of it. Right? Mm -hmm. and it's all scattered. So so SharePoint provides a centralized uh, document management system. You can put in one file there and people keep editing, adding whatever they want to do on one single instance of the file. Mm -hmm. So and it's not just 
that, but it, yeah, it does have the worsening. So people know what changes have been made, and if they want to revert back to the previous version, they can always go back. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you, and you know, it's a locking mechanism because it has a worsening enable check in check out. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the science ca science category, and uh, so that was there until 2003, I can say. And then uh, communities, so they want to give a much uh, feel, uh, you know, much capital to, to the enterprise, not just the mid-range companies, you know. Mm -hmm. and it's like every department they will keep creating their own sites, and uh, if they want to, you know, collab. It, so sites actually do a collaboration as well, and mm -hmm. as well as the document management. But what about if they have a lot of, you know, fun groups or community groups that is not actually defined as a department but in a more of a fun kind uh, more of a you know, blogging stuff so they want to have that features part of the SharePoint product so that is when they started creating some community based site templates mm -hmm. it's not a site just a site template I mean of course it's a site template but it, it's quite different from other templates because of the features or the functionality that has been added in these templates like you know it so you can create a community site which will internally have uh, a blog site itself so you can have your own blog site where you, you know it's pretty much the uh, if you look at any of the internet uh, blog service providers like WordPress or Google blog or whatever it's pretty similar features but in SharePoint okay. way like you can just create your blog post and then people can like it, comment it, do everything. Mm -hmm. And and yes, so so that 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 brought uh, some additional stuff. Uh, if you compare with 2007 and 10, they have their own uh, blogs, community sites, and also personalization. So when I say personalization, uh, so every user in uh, in the department or in a company, in an organization, they have their own. They can have their own my sites, like mm -hmm. they have their own personal site. I mean, it's it's not just it's not exactly blog. Blog is something uh, public facing site, but my site is something private site. I would say. So, it's like uh, I would say comparatively with uh, maybe the recent one. You know, you go to Gmail and then it's integrated with your Google Drive. So it's very similar yeah. to that. So you have your My Site where you, it's not for mails, but it has uh, all those uh, web parts, components that will show a lot of data, you know, compared or relevant to you in the organization. And then it does have libraries where you can put the data, which is private. And internally, within that, it has blogs and all that. So it's kind of one gateway through which you go to or navigate to any of your sites, pages, or data in the SharePoint. Mm -hmm. So that's all community category and content for sure. So content again, it's it's pretty much uh, the the way the data is handled in SharePoint. So, like I've been explaining, uh, it's um, it's the document libraries, the lists, and then uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, the various types of data. So it's not just the documents; uh, it's also the media type files that the SharePoint can handle. Okay. That has been enhanced in 2010. It wasn't much supported in 2007, but pretty much enhanced in 2010. Like you know. I mean, if I can just upload a video or an audio file in the document library just as a file, but it, SharePoint doesn't really give a much capability or doesn't recognize the type of the file. Mm -hmm. So, 2010 has different types of libraries, you know, like image. I mean, images library has been always there, but there has been like you know video and audio support. Mm -hmm. So it, it gives some kind of metadata how how much length of this video is, how much size it is, and what kind of resolution and all that, you know. Mm -hmm. So it picks up the metadata based on the file. 
-hmm. And so, so the content, how the content has been managed in SharePoint so far is through the content types. And mm -hmm. SharePoint 2010 has brought a good feature like Enterprise Content Type Hub. So it's like, you know, you can um, define the type of the data that will go into the SharePoint. So that mm -hmm. type of data is centralized. So you have some thousand sites. You don't have to define the type of this content, which is called content mm -hmm. type, everywhere in every site. But you can have it in one server and published or consumed by all other sites. Mm -hmm. So that's the content category. I mean, how I mean how SharePoint is handling it. And coming now is the source, the big thing. So now SharePoint has given a lot of capabilities to, you know, to intake the data for a data mm -hmm. intake. And there is now like you know, tons of data, like 100 GB, not 100 GB, but 10 GB for each site, and then you have some thousand sites. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a pretty huge data server piled up there in SharePoint now. The question comes is, how do I find my data now? On, on top of all this data piled up. Mm -hmm. So that's when the search capability comes into the picture. So now this is also pretty much centralized. So so you 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 can find the data whatever is going into any of your thousand sites. You can just use your search box, search it and you will see it in the results. Mm -hmm. So how it has given the filters, you know, it's about the findability of the content in on the SharePoint server. So that's okay. another, you know, refinement panel. It's pretty much similar to the Google search with refinement panel. I mean, you know, filter mm -hmm. options. But yeah. So that's about the search and insights. So every any organization when they or you know when they are like enterprise organizations, they really want to know statistics, like how my server is being used, how the users are coming into my site, and mm -hmm. various analytics, various usage reports. They want to know. That's okay. that's you know, again SharePoint provides capabilities uh, like access services or. Web Analytics is pretty much similar to Google Analytics, mm -hmm. and then Power Pivot, Power Pivot reports, and all that. And yeah, it, you can integrate all those SSRS with SharePoint mm -hmm. to to get the reports based on it. 